Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So Sky Climbers recently had a major alpha update. There's a trailer to go alongside of it and we got some patch notes. So that's basically what we're going to be doing here today. We're going to be uh, sort of checking out the trailer. I haven't seen it just yet uh, and then sort of discussing what's going on. I've been completely blind to all of this, so I'll be reacting as I go. Um, we will be doing a sort of showcase in game as well later this week. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, let's see what this new uh, Sky Climbers alpha update has to offer. Character models. Oh, yes, because if I wasn't mistaken in uh, the alpha right now, you can only use uh, the default one. Yagi update. Sentius updates. There's more Sentius coming. Oh, you know what? I don't think you could capture them before. I, I could be wrong about that, but I was pretty sure you weren't able to before. A base building update. Rendering update. Oh, this should help with like performance and stuff. Sky climbers. Okay, so pretty, you know, pretty straightforward. Just about a minute long. Uh, it goes over like the basics of what we're going to be talking about here. Um, yeah, if you have the alpha, some stuff to look forward to. I know the alpha was a little bit kind of barren so hopefully this adds a little bit of uh content for us to sort of check out um let's see what it says here so um makes uh sorry marks a significant milestone for sky climbers entity spawning and improvements in new ai yagi spawn reliably at camps voidling spawn reliably at uh during the time of day sentia spawns various times a day uh, and then um, these guys spawn alongside Magmaton. Performance increases across a spectrum of hardware. Navigation mesh generally uh, generation time reduced. Level load time reduced. Chunk load time reduced. Improved camera and render distance. Game quit time reduced. Average frame rate increased on low, mid, and high-end hardware. That's good. <laughs> That's good for me. Um, base building overhaul, new assets, blueprints, and UI. All assets for blueprints except for campfire. New structure blueprints, new roof blueprints. Improved snapping, hot uh, key HUD. Uh, additional blueprints will be rolled out before the next update. Quality of life improvements and bug fixes. Um, I'm not going to go into bug fixes too much. Uh, world generation updates and seed system. Player can customize coastal meadow generation through seeds. Player can select game hostility. That's pretty interesting. Asset overhaul for organics, uh, aka trees, uh, stones, ground foliage, etc. Texture and material overhaul for terrain and organics. Improved and expanded Yagi camps. Uh, improved era one villages, sub biomes, and new locations added to the world. Uh, we got human encampments, runes, birth sub biomes, new locational discoveries, attack. Uh, I can't speak today, guys. Task list improvements and progression systems. Uh, you know, basic base building, control, resource depletion, etc. Uh, player improvements, new uh, player model, a, um, example of what character um, creator will look like. Uh, new player assets, new player animations, new player S effects, and uh, new new concepts. Uh, I don't know what that is. I think that's just like the thing when you load up the game. But yeah, so I think this is more of like a technical update rather than like a big chunky content one. I think uh, the base building will be interesting. I'm going to maybe queue up with my buddy Barry on this one. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't decided, but we might queue up and see what's going on in the game. You know, screw around a little bit. So yeah, with all that being said, just a quick update today, guys. Wanted to get this news out there for you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing more from Sky Climbers as time goes on. It's definitely a beautiful game, and uh, I think it has a lot of potential. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You could uh, check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon. Uh, special thanks to my patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Dro Ghost, Dark Persona, Exodus, and Candy Morency. Sorry for me being spaced out today, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.